Hi, I'm Richard. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your cell phone to control your Sneech at infinity. So the first thing you're going to do is go find from your list of networks the printer and search for the UID. So you'll find the UID here on the back of the printer. You see UID 1818. And you'll see here under our list of networks, we have HX1818. So when we select that, we'll enter the default password, which is just one through nine. Keep in mind that whenever you do this, you're gonna lose connection for a moment because you are directly connecting to your printer's Wi-Fi and disconnecting from your current Wi-Fi network. Great, now we're connected. And we're gonna go ahead and go to our browser. And from our browser, we're gonna type in the IP address, 192.168.5.1. Select enter. When we do that, this takes us to the printer's monitoring screen. So typically it's gonna ask you for a password here, which is by default gonna be the password one through six. But since we've already logged into this printer on an occasion before, it didn't ask us this time. So from there, you'll see in the top left, I selected the menu option there. And from the menu option, we're gonna select settings. From settings, we're gonna scroll down to Wi-Fi. And from the drop-down menu, select our Wi-Fi network. From here, enter your Wi-Fi password. Then select connect. Great, now we're connected to our, wi our printer is connected to our Wi-Fi network. So now we can go find our networks again and we can disconnect from this HX1818 and connect to our local Wi-Fi network. Once we've done this, if we look back on the back side of our printer, you'll see that we have a new IP address. And I'm sorry, this sticker is blocking it, but down here it says 192.168.1 and then 0.99. And you'll see it'll pop back up again there. That's now the IP address we're gonna to use to directly access the printer. So if we go back into our browser, we're gonna type that in. And now it's prompting us to actually give the printer a password. So this is where you're going to enter whatever password that you would like for the printer. So, you know, something personal or something your employees can remember. But you'll also notice on the back of the printer that it's flashing a four digit code. You're going to need that four digit code whenever you enter the password. So it's asking you on the bottom line for that four digit code. That's how you use the cell phone to set up your printer. Thanks for watching.